Okay, um, in you know, the school's new Google Classroom, if you go down here and you can click on here or you can click, uh, I believe I've got a, well I will have a, a link in here, but basically all you have to do is click here and it's going to take you to the virtual robotics VEX uh, webpage. The, if you guys did any of this during um, first part of the semester, this looks, should look very familiar to you. Um, let me just go across this. Uh, over here are the different types of thi uh, things, such as driving, um, different controls, sensing, so sensing oper operations, variables, just a variety of stuff, looks. Notice up here you can, this robot, you can put a pin on it so you can start coloring things. So we'll go over through some of these. Um, you want English? If you want to save something, you can hit save to this, to your device and whatever device it is, it's gonna save to that location. That's where then once you save it, you can uh, go, it's probably in your download folder and you can email it to me. You can open other samples out there of stuff if you're wanting to all these different things you just click on it and it'll give you examples of a software that'll work um, so like if you wanted to start with just a basic driving forward uh, right here there's a there is a sample code of just driving forward and driving backwards and then you can manipulate all these different things um, there's also all these different tutorials. I suggest you, if you struggle, get started right here. How to save projects using the playground window, which we'll go to in a second. So that's what tutorials are. This is where you can name your project and save it or rename it. Over here, this is the playground. This is where you can actually watch your robot run. So if I click here, it's going to open up in a, another window on top of this one. And... As soon as it finishes loading, and there's multiple, you can expand it so it fits bigger in your screen. So right now, if I hit play, it's going to run that program right there. So if you watch, see there's forward, right, forward, left, reverse. I think that's what it was. Let's see if it. Now, if I want to replay it, I have to go down here, the reset button, hit start, forward, right forward that's not exactly the way that program is but anyway um, uh, if you want to minimize that you can hit that hide it there's different types of playgrounds an art playground where you can color a maze a wall and a number grid map so there's multiple playgrounds um, there's activities I will share with those over here you can add a thing where you can see as you do sensors, you can see different things of what's going on with the sensors. So that would be available. This gives you a different point of view. So watching the same thing, you can click that one, be this view. This is from the top. Hit play. And there it is running. Still. Oh, it did go forward, go left. Yeah. So that's his running that program. So let me see it again. So, if you hit play, goes forward, turns right, goes forward again, turns left, and then in reverse. So that's the basic thing. So if I want to go forward again, um, I have to hit restart. It always goes back to that view for some reason. I hit start. See how just by changing this, now I went forward instead of going backwards. It's a pretty simple program. To do this so that's what the uh, playground is the start and stop is a start and stop your program this will share it as a PDF you could download it and uh, be able to use that and this is feedback to the company if you have some suggestions down here if I want to figure out how to use all these different drivetrain things on this side I can go over here to the question and then click, hmm, what does that one do? And it tells me exactly what it does. How do I use it? Okay, so it'll anything you do, 
it'll tell you what it does over here. That's what the question mark is. Beautiful thing. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, second activity, the, um, um, the one for the rumba vacuum, the room vacuum. I was thinking of that one group. It has there, it's called the Roomba. When I was, saw this, like, oh, this is a great project. Okay, so we're gonna start with a new Prox project. We're not gonna save this, so we're just discarding it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is have a drive forward. So I just drag that over here and place it right there. Okay, then I'm gonna have it um, drive forward for a distance. Actually, and then I want to change that to reverse. And I'm going to say, let's go 50. Okay. Now, um, I want to uh, have it turn right. So I'm going to go down here, find a turn right. Put that in place. And so now if I go to my playground and I can hit stop driving, well, so we'll go to the playground, let it load. Not sure why it's taking so long to load. And then I hit play. Interesting. Well, it's not doing what it's supposed to. It's supposed to go for. Oh, it doesn't go forward for a certain time. Ah, so we're gonna go in here and under controls, we're gonna have this thing repeat this behavior, and we're gonna put in a wait time in between. See how I just dragged that. Um, so let's try this again. Reset, play again. Okay, this is what it wants. So it rotates. And it's just going into a square. All right, so now let's make it so it goes a uh, certain distance so it's not just going just going around 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 so let's go in and find an operation and we're gonna pick a distance what am I looking for I'm looking for distance less than 50 so I'm gonna stick that in Should go in there. Maybe I have the wrong weight. Oh, yes. So I have the wrong one. Delete that weight. I want this weight down here. That way I can put that into the diamond. Put this back there. Oops, I just lost it all. Is there an undo button? <gasps> I don't see an undo button. Crud, I just lost everything I was gonna do. All right, never mind. We're going to do it again. We're going to put that in. Try forward forever. We're going to drive in reverse. We're going to drive right. 
close this because I messed that all up. My wait time is going to go right there. My distance less than 50. And we're going to do a sensing. So this is what those senses are. So we're going to sense a distance. We're going to put that in there. So it has that distance. We're going to go less than 50 millimeters. Going, uh, and then we're going to, we're going to go backwards. So we're going to go forward till we hit a wall. We're going to re reverse it. We're going to reverse it to 50. And then we're going to rotate it. So now let's see what happens when we do the playground. Loading much faster now. And yet not. Anytime. There we go. All right. Let's see what happens. Moving forward. So it's moving forward until it senses something. And so that sends something, it backed up 50 millimeters and then rotate it. And if you go over here and you click right here, it's showing the distance and it's going to go until it goes less than 50, mi than, uh, 50 uh, millimeters. Once it reaches that point, then it's going to then it's going to turn. Okay. You see, boom. Oh, it keeps turning. Okay. Now, this is really cool, but obviously a rumba doesn't just go in a square because it wouldn't clean the whole carpet. So how do we change that? Well, that's where we can use these operations and see down here where it says pick them random. So we're going to go, instead of going 90 degrees all the time, we're going to make it go between 90 and 180. When we get stop, or reset, now let's see what happens. Oh, it's not, it's no longer turning 90, it's turning randomly. So there's our random vacuum. Keeps turning whenever now I want to be cool, this is the last part, if you could, you see there's a little pen right here. Wouldn't it be cool if we could make that pen mark and so we could see exactly where we've been going? By the way, let's switch it to an art canvas. Switching to an art campus, cam, canvas so we can draw, and make a beautiful design. All right. So what we're going to do is go to looks and we're going to add a pen, a pen that goes down and you can pick a color you want it to be. What color do you want it? I'm going to make mine blue. Now, let's see what happens. Reset. And we're going to start. <gasps> Look at that. Now it's coloring. You can look at it from a top view, see how it's coloring all over the place. It's just going to randomly draw something. That is how you do a random robot. We got the pen. We got this, this is called the loop, forever loop. It's just going to keep going. It's driving forward um, until it senses. That's what the green thing is, is sensing that little sensor less than 50 meters from something and then when it does that it reverses 50 meters and then it turns randomly between 90 and 180 degrees and it just keeps going around and around isn't that awesome okay so now you've done that you want to show mr cole i did that assignment so go here and first of all we're gonna 
give it a name call it whatever you want to call it I would put your name in it so it's like uh, who I'm gonna pick on um, I'm, 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 I'm Andrew first name that came to my mind Andrew uh, vacuum Andrew random vacuum or something like that renamed it and now I can hit save to my device so now it's going down it's downloading there and I can go find it uh, well it doesn't I don't want to do that but it's gonna save it somewhere on your device probably in your downloads or on your um, or on your desktop and then you can uh, copy and paste that to me and it'll load on mine so if you wanted to share someone share it with someone else that's what you can do so there's a variety of things you can do here um, there is another assignment out there for you to just learn how to do basic driving forward and backwards I would encourage you to try those um, for now that's all we're gonna do for this but you can continue to learn how to use this goodbye